Uh, welcome or welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we need to find the measure of each number angles. And we notice we have four of them. This this angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. And for that reason, I'm going to use this theorem you see down here, which says the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. And let's start with angle one, this one here. And if you notice an angle one, uh, belongs to this triangle E A B. So I'm going to do that here, triangle E A B. And in that triangle, the sum of the measure of the interior angles is 180. That's what it says down here. So I'm going to say the measure of angle 1 plus Again, in that triangle, we have this angle A, I can call it exactly like that, and that is 90 degrees. Plus, and we have another angle, which is this one, where you see the arrow, angle A, B, E, if you want to call it like that, that is 42 degrees, equals 180 degrees. So now we can combine the 90 and, one and 42, that will be 132. And the last step to find angle 1 is to subtract 132 from both sides. And we have the measure of angle 1 will be uh, eight, uh, 48 degrees. Okay, now let's move to angle 2. And by the way, you can move to another angle if you don't want to. Maybe you can find 3 first or 4. Angle 2 is right here. And um, if you notice, um, it belongs to two triangles. To this right triangle you see here. But we do not know angle 4, so we cannot use it. And we can use the triangle F. D, B, this one. So that's the thing I'm going to write here. And why did I pick that triangle? Because we have angle 2 in it. We have this angle, it is 42. And also we have this angle here, which is going to be nothing else than 72 degree. Because these two angles, this one I mark and the angle D, F, B, R, vertical angles. So I can write again a very similar st statement to the previous one, the measure of angle 2 plus 72, this angle here, right, uh, plus 42, this angle here, equals 180. And again, I can combine 72 and 42. And that will be um, uh, 4, uh, 114 equals 180. And the last step is subtract 114 on both sides. And we have the measure of angle 2 equals uh, six, uh, 66 degrees. Okay, and now we can go to angle 3. Angle 3 is down here. And I think the easiest way is to look, hey, this is a right angle. And one piece of this right angle is this angle and it's 42. So I'm going to write here the measure of angle 3, the one we need to find out, plus that 42 degrees equals 90 degrees. They form that right angle. And the last step of uh, to do it, to find the angle 3 is subtract 42 degrees. And that will be 8 uh, minus for 48 degrees. And we have one more angle, angle 4, which is right here. And again, we have choices here. We can use C, F, B, this triangle where we know angle 3. We can find this one, the supplementary angle of 72. But also, we can use this triangle, C, D, B, which is a right triangle. And uh, we can use very similar what we did for triangle E, A, B. Or we can just simply say that angle 2 and angle 4 are complementary because this is a right triangle and the 
acute angle needs to be uh, complementary. Let's say here, right triangle. So therefore, the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 4 needs to be 90 degrees. This, this is a result, a conclusion of this theorem. Okay, If we have a right triangle, the acute angles are complementary. So angle 2, we have it. It's 66. Angle 4 is the one we need to find out. Equals 90 degrees. We're going to subtract 66 on both sides, which I didn't show you here, but you know by now. And that will be 4 and 8 minus 6, 24, 24 degrees angle 4. The, and by the way, this might be not the only way to work this problem. Uh, you can try in different ways and see if you get the same answer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.